Hi guys, um, thanks for joining us for our very first live feed. Uh, I'm Brett Field and this is... Hi, I'm Astrid from The Sweet Rebellion. Uh, we're going to just shoot live as we would uh, in a normal uh, setting and we'll just talk you through what we do and our process and hope you learn something from it. I'm going to take two minutes quickly just to talk through what we've got uh, before we actually jump into the actual shoot. Um, LED light, uh, camera, I'm shooting the Nikon D4 with the uh, 24-70 2.8 lens and we're going to shoot exclusively on that lens today. Um, and then we've got, we've got some props, we've got our food subject here, a couple of things just to uh, style with. And as always, and often overlooked, dry cloth, wet cloth, on the ready, and cutting board. Um, and then in terms of the uh, studio layout, we've got dark and light boards and the SA Backdrops uh, backboard. And just a couple of more styling things. So let's jump into it. So guys, I made some peanut butter bars with chocolate chips and I've been dying to eat them, but we had to shoot them first. So after this, I'll be enjoying these. Right, so as a fundamental, we always start with shooting whatever our subject is in its primary form. Once we've cut something, we can't uncut it. So we're always going to start off shooting with it in its primary form. To start off with, we've chosen this very, very cool fake wood board. Uh, shout out to Backdrop Shop SA. And we're going to use this black board uh, just to absorb the light while we're shooting from this side, just to give us a nice contrast. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with our studio, we've got nice open natural light beaming in from this side, and then this board's going to uh, absorb those uh, any reflected light. So, camera settings, uh, it's a little bit overcast today, so I'm shooting at an ISO of 500. I shoot aperture priority and I'm shooting 4.5. I always shoot, well, say 98% of my shots are shot between uh, 4 and 7.1. Right, let's get our first shot. Mostly now we're just looking to establish our light settings. Right. Let's get that under. Important to position your subject towards the front. If you push it too far back, you just don't have enough distance to get any sort of depth of field. So we're going to start off shooting 45 degrees, focal point just here so we get a little bit of a fade and then fade back. Um, nothing spectacular at this stage, if I get down to a zero degree shot, There it is. All right. Um, you want to have to lift it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice 
Yeah. But we now we're just looking for something in the props cupboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're choosing props, it's always important to make sure that the prop makes sense. Don't put something that you haven't used at least in making, even or even better in the way that you would eat, cut, or um, serve. So, let's get something a little bit more interesting happening. I like to get down even lower on this. Right, for you, those of you just joining, um, at the moment, we're not doing anything too interesting on the subject itself because we're just shooting our establishing shots. Once we've got those, then we'll start to cut it up and start to get a little bit more interesting. So now we're gonna shoot couple from above and now we're starting to get something a little bit more interesting. Right, I hope you guys can see this all right. Okay, now we're going to Start to chop up. Let's use the tool. Right. You want to cut? Mm-hmm. We'll do it into four strips. Okay. Strips first and then we'll shoot. So again at this stage what we're doing is we're cutting them into long strips and then we'll cut those back into bars uh, into squares later so at each stage you want to stop and shoot so that you've got variety. Perfect. So now we're Back onto our tray. And just get these a little bit off center, off kilter, just to provide some excitement. Keeping any crumbs, that's obviously now starting to make sense why we've got crumbs here. We'll get the board back. Let's bring this across. Let's see. Right, starting to look interesting. Shoot 45 just to get
Okay. For some reason we don't want to Right, so that's our one flat lay done. Now what we want to do is start to work with some height. So bring this in. Right, let's just twist them in, let's bring the boarding nice and close. The knife there just to take up this little space there. With a point of interest. Ah, uh, Cape Town guy, shout out. Okay, we're going to get a couple of close ups so that we can see this nice mottled chocolate here. And then one down at 45. Now, uh, in terms of in terms of angles, I shoot 45 and zero for most of my shots. Top down, obviously, is is the third. Um, I don't shoot anything at sort of eye level, 30 degrees. The same as uh, I would be looking at food if I was sitting down, ready to eat it. And the reason being, you just lose any sort of interest as a result. I think we are ready to cut mm -hmm. to bark. And do we want to use any of those yet? Uh, I think once we've got them in bars, we'll lay it out nicely. Okay, I'm going to take this. So I'm not going to actually cut on the set because I obviously don't want to have any unnecessary things on there. Okay, we've got two just to work around. Okay. Guys, if you've got questions, please feel free just to put them in the comments. This is our, our first ever um, live feed. So bear with us, we're learning. And uh, hopefully, so are you. So Astrid's just busy cutting up our, what are these chocolate chip peanut butter bars? That's it. <laughs> chocolate chip peanut butter bars are being cut into chopped chip peanut butter squares and okay. so now we've got peanut butter to play with I think the stuff's disgusting but uh, I believe most people love it so we'll work through it chopped chips again it's something we've used in the creation of the subject, we need a nice spoon to match something around here. Um, right, now that we've got squares, we've got we've got more to play with. Uh, neat, neat trick when stacking. Um, most things that you bake will have a high side and a low side. So if you have them 180 to each other, then they stack nicer and neater and straighter. Do you, do you want to which spoon do you want to use? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get two. Mm -hmm. And let's 
load one up. Massive shout out to Terranacious D. Okay. There is a peanut butter spoon. Cool. Disgusting, disgusting <laughs> peanut butter. I love this stuff. So. Right. So we'll just load in a few more. The board. These guys, yeah, we will in a sec. A Leviticus. Okay, so for those of you just joining, we are shooting peanut butter. What chop chip peanut butter bars? That's the one. So we're gonna lose that for now. So we're just placing the, the peanut butter spoon. We'll start working with smearing and, and that just now. But we don't want to make a mess on the set until we're ready for that. So here goes. Shot one in our new setup. Now it's starting to look like something. I want to get more of an angle on this peanut butter so that we can get the nice swirls of that. And now I'm going to push this back so that we can sit on the same depth of field line as the peanut butter. bring that home. Right, we've got two cameras rolling here, so bear with me. But now we're getting somewhere. Uh, Remembering to shoot portrait as well, especially for Instagram stories. And Pinterest. Uh, and Pinterest. Okay. Shout out to Siobhan. Yay! <laughs> okay, so. With social media these days, lots of headroom works because we can write recipes and put hashtags and headings and things like that. So use your space. Um, okay, now we're going to start with our peanut butter go. Okay. Thank you. So we've changed the orientation again. Now we're starting to focus on the, the peanut butter part of the story we're busy telling here with food.
Anyone take any nibbles of those while shooting? Uh, dying to. <laughs> dying to. I wouldn't. It's peanut butter and it's disgusting. And I'm just trying to be professional, but normally I would. Okay, now. I'm going to get top down. Do you want to do you move that? Hey. Something like this. No, that's fine. I'll kneel. And now we're starting to get to the real deal. Taryn says she'll eat the props. The props? The teaspoon. Or the, or the food. <laughs> Only psychopaths and communists don't like peanut butter. Well, I'm not a communist. Oh, lucky me. So, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Taryn. It's cool. Yeah, great tool. <laughs> okay, now, top tips. Okay, shooting this one with our chop chips. Importantly here, you, at the front of your set, you need to make sure you've got enough of a gap that when you shoot at zero degrees, that this supplementary uh, little bits don't get in the way and start to um, take away from your actual subject. Okay, can we see that? There we go for the camera. Now we can see how we've built that over time. Mina, no ways, hey. <laughs> How's it going? Cool, so there we have it. That's probably our hero shot. Um, and now we want to get some supplementary shots in and around this mm -hmm. setup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we going to need that stuff? Uh, this, no, yeah. we don't need that. We can shoot with it if you want. Yeah. We can do another one. Um, okay, so now we're just switching to some verticals, portrait. Okay, right. So that's that done. Um, let's get a whiteboard and mm -hmm. bounce in. Now we're going to just brighten up. Um, and I'm going to change this background. Mm -hmm. So we were super... Lucky to get all these 
boards from backdrop SA um, and we're going to switch it up show you how quick and easy we can change okay okay so back down to zero degrees we want to push this up nice and tight up against there so that we don't end up with a horizon shadow line reduces the amount of work in post and now we've got that beautiful gold look sorry I keep forgetting to show to both cameras okay now we going so we've changed from a black uh, board to a whiteboard natural light this side coming in from a big uh, window in the studio so this is just going to bounce light in lighten up these sides previously we were shooting with a blackboard specifically to get more contrast so this just gives us options later on Okay, now let's do a nice big stacking shot. Um, let's come to that. Mm. Okay, we're going to just change our props quickly. Super rusty, old school. What's this thing called? Baking tray. Yeah, from cool. an antique shop, a secondhand shop. Yeah, so if you're in Cape Town, don't go to any of the secondhand antique shops because they got nothing. Because Astra's already bought the damn lot. So sorry for anybody in Cape Town trying to buy any of this stuff. Uh, yeah, we can leave that. Um, so where we can, we're going to keep our set. For example, we'll keep all this and we'll bring this into the shot. And still the backdrop? Or the dark one? Uh, I think it's ah, doing well, yeah? Um, no, let's get a new... Let's get... Um, something really dark so we can show some mm -hmm. contrast okay so those of you just joined we are getting a new set put together quickly let's grab that blackboard yeah. So that's our new backdrop. The black walls. No, okay, we've now got completely new setup, and you'll see. And now all of a sudden I'm going to go down about a stop on my camera, bring it up nice and contrasty. Um, but we don't want to get a bit lower down. Now you can see we're getting some super cool Contrasted shots. Try and bring our peanut butter back into the mix. Just mixing it up so that it has some life to it. Okay. 
Right. And now we're going to go full dark. Um, take this. Yep. Yeah. The one we have. Okay, this is okay. Backdrop will become our need a hand. Okay, so what were we saying? How you made those? No, but that's a good thing to say. So what we did with um, these boards, we've got a whole lot of different colors. We just bought some really cheap like plywood type of wood and just created a little bit of texture with some as a plaster of Paris um, first before painting it. So you can use spray paint or acrylic paint. Um, and what's quite nice is if you use a sponge, then you can use different colors and get a little bit more texture on your um, surface. And you can do this with a sponge or a brush as well. Okay, let's get... Shout out to Duncan Palmer. <laughs> okay, so just getting a spoon back in. Obviously, now it stands out nicely against. Uh, moody backdrop. Just lose the seam there and let's have a look here. Now we're talking. Okay. Let's get 45. And you can see these are now completely different to what we had just now, being the um, the very light and bright. Now we've gone um, dark and moody. Nice. Do you want to go tea towels? Uh, yeah, a tea towel would be nice. So very South African patriotic uh, protea here which you won't see. A uh, tip with shooting with um, dishcloths, rather than sitting for hours ironing them, trying to get them perfect, because they never are, just give them a little bit of a scrunch up. We're hiding the pattern on purpose on this one. And then push it out with some length so that it creates some interest itself. This is a little bit high, so we're losing the edge of this very cool antique tray. So we're gonna reposition. 